So, this is McDonald's Treasureland Adventure. Which, you'd be kind of surprised that somehow McDonald's has a pretty good video game. I mean, MC Kids wasn't that bad. And this was, like, made by Treasure, so you knew you were gonna get something really good. I've had to fiddle around with the controls because I didn't like the default setup. So I wanted, like, Jump to be B, my Magic Shot be on A, and Scarf on C. We'll do it on Normal Mode. Let's just go right in. Oh, that's creepy face. One day, as Ronald was walking in the magical forest, he found a small piece of paper under a big tree. What's this? It looks like a piece of a treasure map. Yeah, it says treasure around the corner. Alright there, Joker. I wonder where the rest of the map is. But Ronald didn't know. Was that three bad guys each had a piece of the map. Okay, Ronald said with a smile. Let's go on a treasure hunt. And so, with a piece of the map in his hand, Ronald begins his adventure. The Magical Forest Start. Alright, so it's your basic platformer. You got your magic shot, which helps defeat enemies and stuff. Your gems on the lower left are your health. And I think the flowers kind of serve as a shield. I could be wrong, though. But I find that every time I take a hit, I end up losing the flowers. There we go, now my magic's stronger. If game end up not working for you, I have a choice to make a replacement. Well, if it's your game, then, uh, probably. I would let you know. Don't you dare shoot at me, you gnome. Some of the mechanics remind me of Dynamite Heady. Was Dynamite Heady also a treasure game? I don't know. I never played it. Okay, it is the same devs, okay. Ooh, health upgrade. I will need that. Ooh, there's a shop, too. Well, let me not go to that yet, because I don't have a lot of money. Ah! Damn you. Just hop right on top of me. There was nothing I could do about it. Music here sounds really nice. But I imagine a lot of people snub this game because they're like, Oh, it's from McDonald's. Like, surely no good game would come out of McDonald's, right? And they were wrong. Ah, uh, let me see what I can buy. Hmm, I already got a jewel. Life item, don't need that. Can't afford it anyway. You know, let's just get a one white flower. And I'll save the rest of my money for later. I think that sounds like a plan. Oops. Oh nice, I made it back on. Oh. Giant tree with hands. Why does it have to have human hands? Why is that a thing? Oh god, now they become ghosts. Mm. 
That might be a little bit loud. Let me turn that down. Okay, that's seems okay. Okay, I gotta check the foregrounds. There might be some collectibles there too. Oh, there we go. That should max out my magic. Nice! I got a max health capacity. So let me know how everything looks and sounds so far. I mean, it shouldn't be as loud. Like, it's still in green. Uh-oh. Watch out for that damn worm. Okay, everything's all good. Glad to hear. Kinda thought it would be, but I just wanted to ask. Okay, I'm gonna take my time with this one. Oh, you again? I already dealt with you. Why are you back? Hope those requests are good enough because you probably won't be able to do that again for a while. Well, if, whether they're good enough or not, doesn't matter. I gotta play them. If they're picked, at least. Oh, well, guess I'm not buying anything, then. I like how it costs, like, one point. I like when things cost way less than when I originally had to spend on them! Damn worm. To sneak up on me like that. Oh, at least I got that, I got an extra life out of it. Oh, hey there, Anubis, good to see you. Huh? Ah, uh, I think I have to nail that angle just right. Hmm. Oh, I have to keep walking towards it. That's why I wasn't getting it. Me. Oh. What's up here? I wanna go take a look. Are there more monsters? They've had one too many bits of McDonald's. <laughs> See those gnomes? That's where they put in the McRib. Shop. Oh no, it's a game! Do I want to play? Sure. Columns? I like columns. Is this what I'm playing? Um. I'm gonna put that over there for now. There we go. 
The M's are the continues, aren't they? So I would like to get one of those if I can. Oh, no, oh, that's a bad spot for it. Oh, uh-oh. This'll do. So close to columns. Close enough to columns. <laughs> we'll just say that. Oh no. I fucked up. Especially since those skulls don't go away. That's what makes it a little bit tougher to deal with. Okay, that worked. So did that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, got two of them in a row. I'd be okay if the rest of the game was just this. Oh, I had something good going on and I blew it. Oh. Oh no, 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 it's gone wrong. You wanna play once more? No. I did my job. Stacking the three skulls ends the minigame? Um... Maybe? Either that, or, or they just don't go away. So therefore, they just populate the board. Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care! Oh, and I can't attack either. So all I have to do is just make sure I dodge everything. Everything that's bad, at least. Which means Ronald McDonald needs to dodge himself. I'm doing alright for a Monday. Hopefully the wind doesn't keep me up. Uh, Fire Lord, is Digimon Anode Ketho Tamer an RPG or anything? Because it. Like, I can do Wonder Swan, but if it's an RPG, I can't do it. RPGs are not eligible. Because I never heard of that game before. Oh, I guess I can't get in the water. Nice of him to tell me what the safety zone is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, that water's bad. Oh, it is? Alright, I'm gonna reject that one, so you can try again. Tell you what, you don't have to put any channel points for yours, Zuko. Just put it in the chat, and highlight it, so that I'll know it's from you. Oh, I actually managed to dodge it. 
Sometimes I surprise myself. There we go. Oh wow, you can actually just jump down through that? Oh, I should have just held down while I was grappling. Instead of what I just did. And I'm hurting myself as a result. My head barely fits through the door. Sure, I'll buy an extra life. Welcome. Don't touch. But what if I do anyway? Hamburglar! Am I ever glad to see you? What's that you say? Oh, you want two of my magic jewels? What's that? You say you'll give me a hint for the jewels? Really? Uh, I suppose I'll do it anyway. Hey there, Tony. Hmm. You say the enemy bosses will try to steal my magic jewels? Oh, I can attack them while they're eating the jewels. Really? Thanks, Hamburglar. I'll give it my best shot. Hamburglar, I am glad that you watching our uh, business. I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh-oh. Gotta watch out there. Seems pretty straightforward. Make sure you get plenty of power for the boss. Okay, so I have to attack him when he uses the laser. Oh wow, those tomatoes are still there. Got him. And there was an extra life right there, too. Alright, Power Rangers Time Force. I'm actually gonna write that down now. And the reason why is because it's not attached to, like, a, uh, reward. Please, take my piece of the map. It fits snug. Hey, it fits the piece I have perfectly. Hmm, I wonder who has the rest of this map. I don't know, better beat him up. <laughs> so Ronald got the second part of the map and continued his adventure. Stage two, the magical town. And it's an auto scroller. Why would a train just have, like, protruding spears? Oh. Damn clown. What do I favor? This or MC Kids? I haven't even finished this game yet. So that's not really a fair answer. Or fair question. But based on first impression, I would probably say this. I don't need to up my magic, because it can only go up to three. I <laughs> just torch a random clown. Oh, it's still an auto-scroller. Um... I could probably pick up jewels on the way. Hmm. 
came close to being Time Force in Game Boy Color. I never, I never played it myself, so. I remember one of my friends uh, streaming a uh, Power Rangers game for Game Boy Advance, and she had to turn it off because the tutorials were just too much. Like, interrupting gameplay, like, every few seconds. And she just got sick of it and turned it off. Who knows, that game might actually be requested to me right now, so we'll see how I take it. In the cold train. <laughs> All these kids are yearning for the mines now. And the moles. I didn't even know that was a question, Joker, but yeah, it should be fine. As long as it works. Ah, too bad you can't use a scarf to grab that. this? Oh, okay, I see what I gotta do. I can barely see what my path is. Huh? Oh, I have one shot on that too. Oh, that's stupid. Oh god. Hey! The claws are always gonna be where you are. So get fucked, Ronald! Um, you know what? I'm gonna pass. I thought that was just the actual shop. Wow, your, your attack is that early, huh? What? Damn clowns. Said the other clown. Is that an enemy? It might be, so I better not touch her! Oh no, it just brings you back. Go! Oh, and it just takes your jewels. I had to grab some back. That's hella rude. I did not appreciate that. You get stuck in tutorial because of pulling off 180 in a time limit? What game is that? I don't remember. But there are some games that do have bad tutorials. I mean, did you hear Tail Sky Patrol? Basically, the intro level is the hardest part of the game. Hey, Birdie. Help me, Ronald! I've been kidnapped by a wicked circus owner! I could break the lock on this pen, if only I had some magic jewels. Would you give me some of your jewels? Yeah, give me some of your life force. Well, oh, thanks, Ronald. I can go back home. I owe you one. Oh, this part. Okay, so when I hear beeping, I gotta get ready to duck. Oh god, it's so dark! I can't see shit!
Oh god. This looks kind of treacherous. Oh, that was close. You have to do so much precise jumping on this part. Especially when you gotta wait for them. Oh, oh! Oh my god! He was trying to leave without me. That was close. I'm still on the train. Okay, I think I needed that. Oh, hey there, Cole. Good to see you. Speaking of Cole, look what's on the train right now. Even more of it. Done. Hey there, Red. Good to see you. Thank you for saving me. Phew, that was close. Next time, be more careful. Good luck, Ronald. I can't believe the circus owner's dead. I'm guessing that a sumo wrestler cannot die. Just gotta let it do its terraforming. Have it your way. I'm already at full jewel, so I can leave that one alone. This is pretty good music, too. Nope, I'm good. What the hell? Why would you just throw stuff, like, out of your apartment? Like, with no regard for human life. That's like that missus in Toronto that threw the chair. Remember that? Like, that's just, like, a serious danger. Oh. What the- I gotta be more careful. Oh, I missed. Oh, but it looks like there's a continue up there. Difficulty is kinda on the easy side at first. But I'm watching it like a hawk. I know there's a continue over there, but I... I'm just gonna go on the pretense that I may not need it right away. Oh, there's the boss. And this has minions that drop jewels for ya. So there's that, and I can use the balloons. I gotta wait.
Come on, laser time. You know you wanna. Got him. Yeah, you better cry. Please, stop crying. Come on, I've got drugs. I mean, something that will cheer you up. Wow, for me? Really? Gee, thanks, Ronald. I'll give you more of my life force. Oh look, hey, little fella. You dropped something. Well, what do you know? It's the third piece of the treasure map. Let's see now. How can I get to this island? I know. With his map almost complete, Ronald hops on a balloon and sets sail for... The Magical Sea. And then he drowns. Cause get off me! These are too heavy! What? Huh? Why are the clouds so delicate? I have to use a few of my balloons there. Good thing I have a lot of them. That, you prick! No, we're sending you the other way! Whatever, I guess! <laughs> What the f- <laughs> Who decided those penguins needed to be super strong? Another balloon. I think I need to ride this. Huh? Oh, I see what I gotta do. I'm supposed to go over there. Oh, that was a trap. I have to let go immediately. Make that work. As soon as they come back, you can leave. Oh, that was something I didn't even launch up. Timing's a little too precise for it. Some of them will just fall immediately. How much of balloons? Oh, 10,000! Forget it. I'm just gonna get gems.
Oh, you can climb on the trees. And the coconuts themselves. That's cool, I guess. That's how you get up there. Oh yeah, land right on the only spot that's harmful. Out of all the places. It's my rotten luck, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord Kara, welcome to the show. Oh god, look at that mouth. It's all mouth. How can you see where you're going? <laughs> huh, I can just like go to the right if I want to. I thought there'd be something else there. Bombers Brothers from Block became a pirate captain today? Oh god, don't remind me of that boss fight. That is something I would have liked to have purged from my memory banks forever. Uh-oh. Yep, and miss every hook on the way up. Cool. I love having to redo things. It turns out you can't even attack the cannons. You know what? Fine, just take the hit. And then get that back. <laughs> well, well, should I move? Nah. I'll go down with a ship that's not even mine. The water doesn't seem to hurt him now. Let's try this door. I can just use these to avoid the barrels. He doesn't seem happy that he has to throw barrels at me, though. But do I have to do this? My captain says yes. where I'm supposed to go. I'll just follow whatever arrows are there, maybe. Wait, I think I was in this door before. So don't go there. It looks dangerous. What on earth?
Now the ship is just like transforming at will. It doesn't seem very stable, doesn't it? Okay, I found the way out. Guessing those hands are bad news. As grabby hands usually are. Hands that do not ask. It's okay to grab. Ronald is not ready for the bad touch. So don't grant it to him. Grimace? Good gee, Ronald! I'm so tired I can barely move! You think you could give me a couple of jewels? D gee, Ronald! Thanks! I feel much better! You're getting too close, Grimace. The captain went through this door. He's got a piece of the map. Good luck! Hmm, can I get that jewel over there? I don't think that gave me an extra bit of health. I don't think that's how it works. I should just get another balloon. Okay, so as long as I grab onto these, I won't get swept so much. Danger? Of what? Barrels. Oh, they just know where I'm going, so they'll roll there. How convenient. Ah, uh, The oldest trick in the book. A chandelier that will fall as soon as I arrive. You think video games would have been tired of it, but no. It's still a thing. Okay, one of these chests gotta be a trap. Yeah, there it is. So, door to the left. And door to the right. I don't know if it matters what one I take. But I saw this one first. Oh god. Danger. Grabby hands again. Are you taunting me? No, I wanted to the grabby hands myself. Oh yeah, you were supposed to magically know that there were items there. We missed them all, sorry. Tang it too fast. Oh, I missed the laser chance. 
Fuck! Got him. Oh, I'm nearly tilted right there. That was close. No, no, please. I give up. Here, take this. It's part of a treasure map I found. Aha! You were close. This must be the last piece of the map. Now, let's see if it fits. Your treasure is on the sun. Yes, a perfect fit. No. But where's the treasure? Why, this isn't Earth, it's a moon. How are we ever going to get there? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go ask the professor. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Good idea. Be sure to help us. That mouth flap on Grimace. So Ronald and his friends went to the professor's house. What? Treasure? On the moon? Of course I can help you. I'll make you a rocket ship. You'll be there in no time. Just take the one from MC Kids. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off! Okay, so I got like 16 requests come in. Well, technically 17. Since Zuko had to redo one of his. Uh, gee, Ronald, a crash landing. I'm going to helm. Don't tell me we'll be stuck on this move forever. Come on, everybody. Cheer up. There's gotta be something we can do. Why don't we all split up and look for someone to help us fix the ship? Alright, stage four, the magical moon. Because if you're gonna go to the moon, it better be magical. Or you're probably gonna suffocate. Well, at least you get all your health back. Oh god, crap's bubbles out of its butt. Oh my god, I almost fell in the pit. That was real close. Uh oh. No! Don't grab me! No, it'd be nice if I didn't get shot every few seconds. Just a thought. It's not even the right way. Um, I'm just gonna use save state so I can see what's down there. That's actually the correct way. Okay, I see jewels. I would like to get them. They're too high up.
Okay, I'm kind of worried how this is gonna go. Yeah, and that's why. Oh? I need to get up there somehow. That shop could be the one thing that saves my ass! What happens if I walk into that? Am I gonna get launched instantly? You do, but you can get away. Oh my god, that was close. I thought I was done for. Oh, the spider! How could you betray me like this? Oh, I thought I could get away! to get up there safely. That's how. You have to really time it. Okay, I don't like what's going on in the background. Okay, the cannon itself doesn't destroy you, but the lasers will. As well as falling into the pit. Oh, good thing I just saw those spikes. one. Yeah, take those spiky things down with it. They don't need to be there anymore. Yo. I'm just gonna walk around randomly. Oh no, I got grabbed. How could I have not foreseen this? Man, look at all this stuff I can't get to. Which means I probably will later. Okay, well this is the, probably the last shop I can do. Might as well milk it for what it's worth. It's kinda hard to tell what's a pit and what isn't. Ooh, I want that. Oh, what? No! No! And oh, no, I can't jump back down. That's a shame. That's what you need to do. Take a go for a ride. No. 
Hmm. I see an issue with my initial plan. I think I need to go down there. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Okay, that's what those cats are for. No, I missed it! So I have to grab a cat that's not gonna go into the hands. I see. Oh, but then I jump right into it like a moron. Oh, there's an enemy up there. But it's kind of hard to like hold on to like the hook and shoot my magic at the same time. That might be a bit too challenging to pull off. Because I have to like, hold C, and fire with A. Which is not a very intuitive control scheme. But that's the control scheme I picked. But I had no idea if I needed to be in that scenario. It should be number not 300. Because remember, I took off Zuko's and he put one in the chat. So really, that should be 300. Guess you can't go that way. Just, just take the damage. Should be okay. Oh. Got it. So if that would be the case, Phantom did put in the last game. That's rad. Hmm, something tells me I need to go up here. Try not to get the droplets. Oh, this is very Sonic 2 right here with those platforms. Oh, okay, those things go away if their liquid runs out. That's neat. I think that was the way I needed to go. But it got me some things. Down here, actually. So really I should just let this thing run out and then grapple. Okay, this music is very funky. I like it. Oh no. It's like the Yoku blocks without the sound effects.
Have fun! I won't! <laughs> I can assure you I won't. Oh, get up there. I got it. Well, at least he didn't put him over bottomless pits. As a certain franchise would have loved to do. Oh no. This is kind of gimmick. Mm. Okay, that's what I have to do. I have to pull down and then pull back up again. I can work with that. Okay, I can walk on that. Um... How am I gonna make this work? That's how... Move! There's the exit. Perfect. What? Okay. There's a random beach ball. I don't know if the beach ball itself hurts me. But I gotta, gotta remember to jump as soon as about to land. That seems simple enough. Hey, you. Who are you? Wait a minute. You're that Ronald clown, aren't you? If you want to see your friends again, you'll give me those jewels. Will you give him the jewels? Hmm. These are the famous magic jewels. Hmm, yummy. They sparkle in my tummy. Uh, I don't know why, but I suddenly feel so sleepy. I put sleeping pills in my blood jewels. Okay, fry kids, get away. Hurry. The real treasure was the friends I made along the way. Oh no, I got hit there. Hmm, something tells me this is where the final boss is. What the hell? Like, what do you do if it walks right into you? You just take a hit? Okay, I gotta be fast, don't I? I gotta try and get onto the same floor it's on.
But what do you do there if it just moves the doors when it walks into? Like, that just messes you up. Are you really supposed to get in that very, very tight spot? That sounds kind of mean. Come on, that's not fair. Well, it's a good thing I safe stated here. Yeah, it literally has to be a hit and run. With extra emphasis on the run. It may not give me enough time. Yeah, I can only hit him like maybe one time. And then I gotta get out of there. Seems kind of rough. Well, at least they put an extra life right there every time. Good, this is what I wanted. Unfortunately, when it's on the higher floor, I can't even fight back. So this is going to be a very tedious fight, then. I have to stay above it all the time. Can I get the jewel? There was nothing I could do! He was right in front of the door I needed to get to! That's bullshit! Like, how do you counter that? You don't? Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Yeah, he's hydrating on my energy right now. I don't like that. Camped in front of the door again. Piss off, you. Like, what do you do then? Because I can't hit him from underneath. Got him. All right, I'll take my drink now. That was on the last jewel of health, too. Stop, stop, you won. Go ahead, take the treasure. You beat me, so now it's yours. Aw, poor little fella. They don't want your treasure. All we want is to fatten you with McDonald's. I mean, to go home. Our ship is broken. Without it, we're stuck here. Ah, leave it to me. Here, just jump into the pride portal.
See, that's actually the Rainbow Bridge. That means you're dead now. You go to Valhalla. Also, that's an annoying cliche. Hang on. Take care. Please visit me again. Oh my god. Ronald looks like he got a fat ass there. Then the earth absorbs them. The end. And so ends another fun adventure for Ronald and his friends. So anyway, they... Again, like, yeah, like... I was about to reiterate that. Why go on the treasure hunt if you didn't want the treasure? The end. You went on the moon in the first place for a treasure. That's just like taking revenge on the main villain for killing your parents. Then you kill every other minion that didn't have anything to do with it instead of like the main guys. I don't want to be like you. You ended up being like them. Worse even. So why even go through all this trouble, risking your life, going to the moon, feeling you may not be able to escape, and it's like, oh, I didn't want that. You don't even know what was in there. It could have been, like, another map. But I digress. That's, like, main characters and their morals, am I right? Although, can you really say Ronald McDonald is, like, the paragon of morals? Could have used that treasure to pay off the lawsuit for having too hot of coffee again. Like, I remember when we used to make fun of that lawsuit, like, uh, oh, getting burned by the coffee. It's hot coffee. But McDonald's actually brewed it too hot. So now we don't make fun of her anymore. But at least McDonald's uh, coffee is still top tier. If it doesn't burn your tongue off. So that's a decent time getting through this game. It's actually 